Oh, but no. anyway, <laughs> now that we're all yeah. here, we're all ready, we're all chilling, we're all vibing. On Discord, Maxing, I am. Maxing out cool. I am in the zone on Discord. I'm Seth Cross. Hi, YouTube. Remember, if you go on to enjoy this video, you can like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Or if you want to be here live Friday nights, 8:30 p.m. Eastern Time, Twitch.tv slash the Seth Cross. And if you want to play in these games. There's a Discord link in the video description. Join that Discord. That's where we get our players from. And for some reason, like 86 of you aren't subscribed. What the heck? Hit the button. Do it. I'm going to be playing Handy today. Uh, this is my Dragon deck. Even though I do need to kind of overhaul it a little bit. There's a bunch of things that I want to take out for more dragons. Um, that's going to happen eventually. But until then, it's a dragon deck that likes to tutor out either a cloth or a Belladros and make uh, Melon really, really unhappy. And speaking of which, Melon. Uh, first, it does make me unhappy. I'm just keep saying that it's all you're doing with the deck. Um, and it works. And secondly, hey, I'm Melon Paris. And I hate humans. <laughs> and But I love Ikoria. So here's an Ikoria commander that doesn't like humans either. So this should work out. I mean, yeah. reindeers are better than people. Yeah. On, a, on a more proper note, uh, I don't know if this deck is going to be like the problem at the table, but it's going to be annoying at the very least, I'm sure. Let's see. <laughs> and before Zynam, I just want uh, Paul to know that you have a playmat uh, fan in chat. Mox likes your playmat. Uh, thank you, Mox. I, I think Mox and I have uh, talked in great detail how much we love Slime Pit on your Discord. I think that happened, yeah. Zynam! Hey guys, it's Zynam. You can catch me on Twitter at EDH underscore Academy. And today I am playing Div Cranium, which is basically fairly toler like, tolerable slash fair five color spell slinger. So a lot of the Key roll cards in the deck are multicolor. So I want to say in the whole list there are two monocolored. There's two monocolored cards and one three color card among the non lands, not artifacts. Because Lord Almighty trying to make that style of deck work. But yeah, I uh, was looking to cast spells, uh, draw a bunch. To draw into a finisher. This is the expensive option where I am running fetches and shocks, but I do have another edition of this list of which I am trying to work with the landscapes from Modern Horizon 3 with check lands as a budget option. And I'll let Paul describe the greatness that he'll be attempting today while I get a count of my non two color, non artifact cards. I just want to say I appreciate that your budget version runs checks. Anyway, I'm Paul. You might know me from TTRPG Podcasting Land, where I'm in multiple TTRPG podcasts on Bard Rock Network. Uh, then enough about that today. I'm playing Abilene Grand Prix, a different O'Hara commander than my playmat. I'm stabbing people aggressively. Because I'm playing Death Touch Matters. We do not condone his stabbing ways. Also, that's spoken like somebody who wants to be stabbed, Seth. Eh? <laughs> Well, um, well, given you the top this time, I don't know where the ah. bad direction should be going. Um, I also don't know who Aveline is. I don't know uh, what game Aveline she's from. Is a, uh, she's from Assassin's Creed. She is a assassin from New Orleans, uh, and she is a master of disguise. She also is, a, if you've ever played her game, which was only ported to PSP and eventually PS3 from the original version, she uh. is a brutal combatant. I just want to point out that it is pronounced New Orleans. Uh, and with New that, Orleans? uh, New Orleans? What? I'm going to North America, North Puddle Shore. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Seth did cheat and make sure I went last, but he gets to go first, Seth. And then I'm going to cheat and look at my top card. I'll leave that. Leave it on top. Pass. Alright, so after I talked about loving Ikoria, Riverbloom Campus. Nice. 
Keep draw. I'll play a Marsh Flex. Bracket. Lose a life to grab a Temple Garden to pass. Um, of the instances and sorceries in the deck, there are only three of them that are monocolored, and I'm running close to 40 of them. So, um, actually, that number is right down. Yep, and that's it. All right. <clears throat> the draw. So, there's, I'm going to play Swamp to turn one, and there's this thing Melon can always rag to me about how I always have incident in life games, how I win from the other games. I play Definitely Vampire of the Dire Moon. Oh. Get him. Lifelink and Death Touch. Get him. All right. I have my incidental lifelink, I pass. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, we'll do a top land, and we'll actually, you know, you know, you know. I'm gonna yeah. do dig up without a cleave, so I'm gonna get a basic land. I, I thought you were gonna fatal push the environment. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be fantastic? <laughs> um, get a mountain. I will pass on that. All right. On that. Draw discards. Hmm. Yeah, that might have just change my entire play. Um. Yeah, yeah, probably better idea to islands into soul ring into cultivate a uh, soul ring. Mm -hmm. So I can use lands, that's great. And I'm gonna grab an island and a forest and that's it. Draw. Not draw so I'll play this blood crypt pass and pass the turn. Alright, I'm gonna tap upkeep draw. I'm going to play a forest. I'm gonna play a wayfarer's ball. And then I'm going to give my uh, Vampire Dire Moon a sixth sense, so whenever it deals combat damage, I draw a card. Remember how Seth said he, he was talking like he wanted to be stabbed? No, that was Seth, Melon. Seth, oh, oh, you're all getting stabbed eventually, but you were the one who, like, I specifically said, it sounds like you're talking like somebody who wanted to be stabbed. So I, stabbed I approved of the stabbing. <laughs> exactly. Melon approves of my stabbing. You don't call me the third person. All right, well, now we know who the accomplice is. <laughs> all right, I passed the turn. I tap up, keep draw. Hey, look! I want to log. Uh, I was gonna say no, but we legally can't deny you a lawyer. Elemental bond after a mountain pass. Yeah, I'm sure whatever German lawyer I can find is gonna be really happy finding them at 3 a.m. <laughs> um, but anyways, and draw. Uh -huh. I'm being asked many questions about cake. Okay, cake. I thought I heard some of the child said the word upkeep. And like, <laughs> I mean, all oh. my kids do know how to play magic, but no, he was asking if he had to sure. heat up the cake for dessert. Which I told him no. Uh, do we mutate? Do we just play things? <laughs> I mean, it just means that the, the like, no one will be casting two spells this turn. It's not unquestioned. Yeah, I came into mutate. We're gonna mutate. Oh, well, left it on my turn. That, that involves this ghostly pill for living for a second. I would like to kill it. I can't, but I would like to. Okay. Um, and then we're going to mutate one of the Mina cards on it. A Cavern Whisperer. Is that so the discard one? Yep. Whenever this creature mutates, each opponent discards a card. Rude. Uh, I'm going to discard and just Restoration? Uh, Mossboard uh, Bridge. I uh, will. Well. Yep. And that's my turn. I uh, trying to decide. There's one present here. Okay. Draw. Uh, I'm going to play Mountain Pass. Yeah, I'm going to play Mountain Pass. No, just play my turn. Oh, okay. Alright. Alright, you play the land. Are you doing anything else? I thought I heard the word pass, but I wasn't 100% sure. Pass is present. Nothing is true. You can take the turn, Paul. Nothing is okay. true. Everything is permitted, including turns 
Paul's turn. Okay, untap, upkeep, draw. I'm going to play an Evolving Wild. I'm going to eventually crack it in my Wayfarer's Bottle, but first I'm going to uh, Zion was the next most stabbable person at the table, so I'm going to stab Zion with the one. <laughs> They're not going to put their uh, mutate they... creature in the way. Uh, well... yeah, I, exactly. I, said last, I said last turn I'm planning on Stella to stab Melon third because Melon approved of my stabbing. But the value. I, I do appreciate that. <laughs> All right, anyway, uh, I draw, well, I draw I'll the card. I'll do this now before you draw the card. Okay, I'm going to draw the card back because I didn't want to draw it. Uh, I guess well, I'll do this now while I'm thinking about it. I'll cast Lightning Heal, targeting the Vampire. Uh, is that, is that, that after is the damage? damage? That is before the damage is dealt. Okay, cool. The Vampire is dead. I do not draw the card. Sad. I'm going to just crack my Rare Bobble and my Evolving Wilds to get two lands and pass the turn. And that, I'll keep and draw. Such a, such a mean card. I will play my commander. <gasps> Who has three power? Aha! Uh, that's a hive mind. Oh. Are we all getting a hint Yeah. That's a I think thing. That's how it work. So, for you two people, the Twitch chat has access to channel points, and they can redeem it to make stuff happen in the game. Hive mind basically puts like a hive mind effect on the stack, so the next spell cast is hive minded, like card hive mind. Everybody gets a copy of it. Because I cast my commander. Granted, theirs are not their commander. Everybody gets a Henzy. Well, I don't think uh, that will be too useful for me, but I do have a trigger on the stack. Because an opponent casts well from somewhere else than their hands. So yeah. draw one. I also draw off of my elemental one. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I, I mean, I have a blocker now. <laughs> uh, I will pass. Alright. I will untap. I did not expect have, to see three Henzies or four yeah. Henzies in this game. Yeah, Henzi is not a human, right? No, devil it's rogue. a double okay. rogue. You can okay. mutate on the Henzi, that's funny. Uh, do I do death or do I play this thing? Might be better to play this thing. Well, I can also just first go to combat, I suppose. Um, I have a fall fall. It's a Spider-Man meme. <laughs> a fall fall with menace, notably, so I can still attack freely if I want to. Despite all of my commanders. So sure everybody knows, it's the real one. They're all uh... fake Kenzies. I can live with that. I don't want them. <laughs> Um, rude. Okay, I've been rude to Seth. Fault. Kiri just been killed. We attack Zion. <laughs> uh, thirty-eight. Indeed. And then, second main phase, we're gonna play the swamp. And am I glad this isn't getting hive minded? Elder Gargaroth. The big old boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, just, I mean, does, there, does the chat, do you want everybody to have a 6-6 with Vigilance that there's a bunch of stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Let's ramp this game up. I think it's also on a timer anyway. Not all the things can uh, be done all the time. Yeah. That's true. And that's my turn. Alright. <clears throat> I have one... Oh, I have two answers for what I'm for. Three answers. Four answers? Stop. That's not the answer. Uh, three mana, Chromatic Lantern, Arid Mace is the land for turn, and I will pass with that. Pass? Yep. Yep. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to do a couple of things. A Swamp. Uh, that, because I know how to tap my mana correctly. I'm going to play Spring Bloom Druid, sacrifice him with a tap Swamp to find a swamp and a forest, and then I go to do some other stuff after I go do some tutoring things. You could blitz that out if you wanted. It actually does not have a high enough man cost me to blitz it. Oh, okay. That's I fair. did think about it. 
Because I'm always blitzing out dragons, I never actually consider that it does have to be four or greater. Yeah, I know. Or I read the card because I've never played the card. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's the first slot of text. Hey, as it oh. turns out, everybody does have at least one creature. I'm gonna play Deadly Brew. Sacrificing Spring Bloom Druid. Everyone else sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. Uh, and then, because I sacrificed a permanent this way, I get to return a permanent card from my graveyard to my hand. I would like my vampire back. See ya, Enzy. Just like that, I think I'm the only person with a hand team now somehow. Yep. <laughs> we know how that worked out. I pass. I mean, do I sacrifice my mutant creature or my big gargoyle? Yeah, no, no, I just, I just think it's funny, like, the chat gave everybody a, a, a copy of the Seth Commander, and then Seth is not the person who wound up final with the Commander. Beast Whisper. When I get my handsy back, I'll draw even more cards. Pass. Okay. On tap. Roll. You're a fun little one. Um... Please tell me, Paul, that you're running, like, go for the throat in there. A lot of uh, ways. Oh, yeah, wait. I, I am not, because most of my killing is fight effects. I didn't go for flavor, because ah, okay. I already had the list for Death Touch, and then someone's like, hey, you, Aveline's a commander you can use. I'm like, okay, let me cut one card for Aveline. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, hey, Seth. Yes. You know, you said that you're going to draw even more cards. I plan on it. I think I'm gonna destroy the elemental bond. And if I had a nickel for every game I was in, an elemental bond got destroyed this week, I would have two nickels. That's not a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Then we're gonna play. Uh... I need to use this land of waste for a green, so I'm gonna lose life. And then I'm gonna play a glades cover. Is that an English name? Hmm. Well, it's a. I think it's, it's a one-one one text group. It's a boggle. Glade cover scout, yeah. Glade cover scout, yeah. Thought yeah. the name was, was short in my head. Whatever. I'm gonna mutate my command onto that. Mm hmm. So now I have these two things. Who do I want to attack? I think I am last turn already. Uh, so both for the same player to split it. Eh, gosh. This way I normally play like Voltron decks more because I don't have to think about who it's what attacking will. Um We're gonna send the Kevin Rist for Seth and the Gargroth at one. The Gargroth does have trample, but I was still blocked with my Enzy and take three less damage. Yes. And it also has an attack trigger where I think I want the beast? Or do I draw? Eh, let's draw. What's the power of the thing? Four. And that's the turn. Well, okay. I will crack the air beast, huh? To grab myself a. What is more? Uh, probably a. Actually, it's gonna be a hollow fountain. Raw! Hmm. Nelson is land for turn. Uh, two mana. I'm gonna cast Life from the Loam, targeting the three lands on my graveyard to return to my hand. Mm -hmm. I'll pass with that. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to. All right, uh, Blight of Woodlands, we my land for turn. We're going to play Vampire of the Dire Moon, because that was no information. We're going to pay four. Find uh, two basic land cards. we could just do a swap and a force again. And then with my force, I'm going to play Narnum Renegade. And I did have a permanent leap of battle for this turn, so it's a 2-3. Uh, 
I pass. Okay. Earn tap of Keep and Draw. Uh, Meowton. I think the what's the right thing to do? Eh, let's let's draw cards. Drawing cards is almost always the right thing to do in Magic. I'm gonna replay my commander for two extra. Beast Whisper, cast a creature spell, draw a card. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be it. I pass. Alrighty. On tap. Gonna go to just right into combat. Okay. I think we're just gonna do a full swing around here. Um, the camera spell is going at Paul. The Garkaroth is going at Zynum, and Otremia is going at Seb. I will remind you, I have two Death Touch blockers. You I will remind you, this has menace. Oh, okay, so I have to sign. I'll take the four. <laughs> so, uh, I don't lose them both. I was ready to lose one. <laughs> Commander is what? Six, uh, Chapel? Yep. And then my Wait, dog. Was... Yep. What did you say, Zanum? Oh, I was just confirming what they were doing with Dark. In terms of yeah. the. I'm... Uh, I'm still deciding. I think I want to. Yeah, let's take it first. These weird Echoria Elks. I mean, I just assume they're wounded beasts. I it's don't know like Elks and our beasts. Gonna play a Swamp for turn, and then we're gonna... Try to get some use out of this Reclamation Sage by mutating a Parcel Beast onto it. Mm -hmm. that be? Very nice. Uh, I can pay one and tap it to look at the top card of my library. If it's a land, it goes into play, otherwise into my hand. Hmm. Uh, do I want to do anything else? I feel like I've done enough. Hmm. Yeah, that's fast. I'll use the directability of Life from the Loam, milling General Ferris Roderick, Windgrace of Judgment, and a plane. Uh, I'll bring Life from the Loam back to the turn. I'll play the Swamp as such. And that's my commander. And Something that will be. Oh, a... I missed a hand seat draw. Oh, whatever. But I'm gonna get this if there's a draw. And I will pass for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Zabiff would like you to remember to have mercy there, Melon. Pretty sure she's talking to me. Well, she knows perfectly well I sh I don't know mercy. Hmm. Alright, so I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to play a swamp. I have one card left in hand. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to play Devouring Tendrils. Target creature I control deal damage equal to power. Target creature or planeswalker you don't control. Uh, the vampire the dark used to deal one damage to the elder dark world. That is fair and it's gonna happen. And then when the Gargaroth dies, I gain two life. He's doing it. He's doing it. And then I gain additional life because I have life. Cool. Uh, I am now hellbent. FYI. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna play Aveline D Grand Prix. Uh, three, three, um, okay. Whisper. I I heard something, but I didn't hear what it was. Cavern whisper trigger. Cavern whisper trigger. Okay. Yeah. For yelling. Yep. Thank you. Okay. I was just trying to figure out how to pay Paul back. Here's a dang. Oh. 
Melon has a has a bunch of stuff. I think Melon would spitefully kill my Narn Renegade or my Vampire. Uh, Me? Being spiteful? Anyway, I'm going to swing the Narnum Renegade into Zynum and the Vampire of the Dire Moon into Seth. Is it still one? It is still one. In the spirit of fairness, fairness, you know I have a Lightning Galax that can kill the Renegade. Which is why I didn't attack a Vampire of the Dire Moon at you. I figure you're more likely to take two damage as opposed to just Lightning Helix thing if it's not as valuable a creature to me. It is a creature, it will just get bigger. <laughs> well, at that point, I would just, I would just lightning heal like the commander. I think I have to take the two here, just so that way Paul can later apply pressure to Melon, assuming I don't draw the time warp or the or, or the Supreme verdict. All right. So it sounds like all my combat damage is through. I'm going to apply my counters. I gain one more life. I pass the turn with nothing in hand and a drain. All right, time to ruin at least one of those things. Oh, Seth, you can't kill my dreams. That already happened ten years ago when I entered the workforce. <laughs> I am going to black, black, one, two, three. I'm gonna blitz in a card, as I do, as as I am one to do. Mm-hmm. What does a cast, right? It's a replacement cost. You may choose to cast. Uh, cast is, yep, yeah. I'm pretty sure I've already done this before, however, common space. So it's reduced by two because of Henzi being cast twice. Mm -hmm. Deathbring or Reason. Flying uh, five six when it enters the battlefield, if I cast it from my hand and there are five or more other creatures on the battlefield, destroy all other creatures. I have a cast trigger. Yeah. Response, I, I will have response, well, response first. Yep. On parcel these. Uh, no response to the parcel these activation. Yeah. Uh, uh, do parcel these is also on stack. No, I look. Okay. So it's not a land, it goes into my hand. Okay. And everything dies anyway, so. Well, are you responding? Because mm -hmm. part the. That hasn't. Yeah, the part... That draw and my draw haven't resolved yet. Yeah, parcel Beast is on the stack. Do you have anything while you have priority? No, I have nothing for the Parcel Beast. Okay. So, we're, okay. I'm going to draw. And Melon's going to draw. Do you have anything, Paul? I do I do technically get priority, but again, Hellbent. Yeah. And then... Why does Melon... Hmm? Oh. Why does Melon... From Parcel Beast, right? Yeah. I think that's what he means. Yeah. No, the uh, the other oh, okay. mutated thing is whenever we cast. Oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. It no, was from your hand, right. wasn't it? Yeah, it was from my hand. Never mind. I never mind. Oh. Right, I, I would like people. to move to combat. Uh, this thing's gonna die anyway, so I might as well get the hitting. Uh, it will hit melon. Fair enough. I also I'm needed to tap my lands properly, because I knew what I was doing. Um, during my second main phase... How big is it? 5-6. Ah, okay. During my second main phase, yeah, I'm going to cast a Life's Legacy. I'm going to mm -hmm. sacrifice the 5-6. When it dies because of the Blitz, I'll draw a card. Also, I have to sacrifice a creature to draw cards equal to its power, which is five. So I'm gonna draw six cards. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be two, three, four, five, and six. Alright. I'm going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm gonna find four cards I don't want. Which is gonna be really hard. So many of them are going to be creatures. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. Just wanted to make sure. I'm going to Disciple of Bolas, Horde Smelter Dragon, and Noxious Gear Hulk are the creatures and a swamp. Right, action. Cool. And then I pass. Uh, in your end step, I'm realizing something I would have never thought of about activating. 
gonna scry for my river, river bloom campus. Okay. That yeah. goes to the bottom. And I draw this. Where's fapping stuff? Um. I do have enough mana to do all this. Should I? What's the downside? Um. We're gonna tap all this mana for two spells. Oh, I can even leave one up. Fun. Um. One of those spells is gonna be a uh, Sword Dusk Demolisher, which is a 6-6 mm -hmm. Trampler. When it mutates, I destroy target non-creature permanent, so it's not exactly Beast Within, but uh, the controller gets a uh, Beast. Mm -hmm. And a Kodama Speech. Mm -hmm. Which also makes me hit Balantrop, so I'm just gonna put both on the field, and that's my turn. I'm going to affectionately name it Beast there. Drop a turn. Oh, just a plane. a marsh flat is land for turn. That has trap. That is not. Oh, uh, wow! Well, blocker is a blocker is a blocker. So I guess secret tech number one. You even a bob, and um... I will have that. <laughs> All right, yeah. part, of, part of the cards, furnished art. What the was? Oh, fuck. what? I, I heard someone have some sort of expletive reaction to furnished art. <laughs> I like that shot. That's the only one. <laughs> Anyway, I have a blocker. That is all I've accomplished. I know that. I pass. Hold on. Hmm? What's happening? I'm uh, eating and I thought I had more time. Uh, you're the person just before you was Hellbent, sir. I expected better. And I also started on Zyden's turn. From a Hellbent player. Oh, Do yeah, I... you just back. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. You forgot the handy cost twice. I said seven mana and I represent handy with a two. Uh, Castle Garenberg untapped because I do have a forest. Sinister Waltz. Mm. Choose three target creatures in my graveyard, return two of them at random to the battlefield, and put the third one on the bottom of my library. Okay. I have seen no responses. Alright, cool. Uh, we'll do Beast Whisper, Noxious Gear Hulk, and for the lulls, what's probably going to happen? No, I'm, I'll be smart. Ford Smelter Dragon. I was going to do the Disciple of uh, Bolas, but I was probably going to get the Beast Whisper and the uh, Disciple. I don't know if anybody's really good at the card game, but... Alright, Paul, you can pick one of these cards that is not going to go on the battlefield. Alright, the card that is closest to the spell that is resolved. That is the one. This one does not enter the battlefield, and that is a Horde Smelter Dragon, which means I'm getting both a Beast Whisper and a Noxious Gear Hulk. Noxious Gear Hulk's going to enter, and I'm pretty sure 
I gain life equal to its toughness. How big's that thing, Melon? Six. <laughs> I would like to gain six life, thank you. I know you would. Hey, look who's not the life game player today. You shush. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will simply do a Kodama's region pass. Finding probably a forest then. Uh, Swampano. Swampano forest, yeah. Untap, draw. A creature. Thank fuck. Um. Is that like a like a pity fuck, but but better? I I don't know. <laughs> well, well, no, a thank fuck is when you're very great. That's what I'm saying. It's like a pity fuck, but better. It is a trigon predator. <laughs> the myth. Ooh, come blow shit up. I gonna try, maybe. Before that, do I want to do anything before that? Hmm. What are chances my stuff gets destroyed again? I do not plan on blinking the thing. Yes, I know, but that that doesn't help too much. Um, <laughs> I leave the man up against Scry. Which might be better in my situation. Pass. Okay. That is a no. squeaky board on your board. Squee goblin above, yes. Okay. Uh, are you playing attacking the squee? I was gonna sacrifice my burnish heart during your turn just to save time. Uh if I if I if I did, you reserve the right to have blocked before activating the Burnish Heart effect. Awesome. I'm just going to, for the sake of saving our audience time, sacrifice Burnish Heart while you're doing your stuff and do my turn. Draw. Okay. So, I think there hasn't been enough smack talk in this game. So <laughs> I will play an island of my land. One, two, three, four, five. And then I will toss from the rampart. Creatures that have total control are goaded. Those creatures can't block. Mm-hmm. But we're still using their control. Until, until my next turn, those creatures... Oh, they can't block. Okay, cool. Uh, so I will do that. Uh, I will then crack this Marsh Blast. Pain of Life. We're going to have Hollow Fountain. Uh, let's do an Overgrown Tomb. And I shuffle going, make sure I stay alive. I straight it in. And then we will life from the loam back the marsh flats and the plane. And I'll go to combat and mockingly swing at Melon for one. I'll swing at uh, set that one. It'll be more, it'll be funnier. Why? Because you have two creatures who can kill the squee, but they can't because it comes from the rampart. Mm. And that's my turn. Alright, I just finished my shuffling. But all the time I saved everybody. I mean, hurry up, still Seth is still, still bragging when, when I'm right. I am. Uh, Thorn of the Black Rose, I am now the monarch. That is my top deck. Just gonna set my little crown. You should see me in a crown. Two, three, four, five, six. I have the mana and I'm hellbent, so Abilene's gonna hit the battlefield again. I pass. On tap of keep and draw. Okay, no, it wouldn't be. Oh, I drew a card at the end of my turn for being one. Two, three, four, five, six. Replay my commander. Blitz call. Reduction is now three. I will draw a card. Off of the beast with spot. Uh -huh. Oh, that's a good card. Not for this situation, but.
I'll go to combat. Uh, both of my creatures have to attack. I will throw the Beast Whisperer down at Paul. And the menacing 5-4 will go at Melon. Uh, are you sure you want to spend your value creature at the guy with a big death touch? Are you yeah, sure you also... want to put a creature in front of somebody who's got seven cards in hand when you don't have any? I'll put Thorn of the Black Rose in front of it, I dare you. <laughs> Blocks? Oh, for... <laughs> Melon, you don't have anything? Nope. No, I can't okay. block. What do you Terminate the blocker. All right. Uh, so Paul take two, Melon took five. That's the end uh, of my turn. Uh, uh, oh no, not take two, block. not take two. You block, you block. <laughs> yeah, gonna, That's not how it. blocking <laughs> works. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Before your turn ends, uh, someone played a gold gold card, so I have to do something. Got a beast within that chromatic lantern. But, but, but why? I think I did be sad. <laughs> because we want to see Zynum actually have to think about how he taps his mana, that's why. Because um, the last time somebody didn't blow up a mana rock, they I lost know. the game to that person. <laughs> I'm also going to scry. That also goes to the bottom. And then it's my turn. Am I? Then we're gonna draw. Hmm. How much mana do we have here? Uh... Oh, I would even have enough. Do I want to do it? Do you not want to do it? I kind of want to do it. Okay, so in just not counting again. Yes, I have enough. Okay. We're gonna mutate... Nope, not that card. Uh, this one? Yes. Auspicious Derex. Oh boy. So when this mutates, I exile cards from top of my library until I exile X permanents, where X the number mutated, and then I put those permanents on the field. You wanna uh, put the field to the bottom? Huh? Nope, the rest would you... stay in exile. No, but you want the Sterics to be mutated beneath the Dragon Predator. Well, uh, yeah. I've, I've got to mutate my command on it too, that's why I do it like this. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> but yeah, you do have points. Uh... I was just making sure. Yeah, gotcha. Mutate this. So now I do that twice. Another land? <laughs> Well, that would have been a fun one. Another land. <laughs> That's the worst, the Outlands? Yep. Uh, what, what was the first <laughs> you take the thing you got for free off of Vicious Stars? This Island. Okay, so we got. I got three lands, lands from it. <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean, it's somehow probably the floor, but it's not bad. And I think how this works is this thing is still goaded. Yeah. yeah, still the same card. Or same creature. Yeah. So we're gonna attack Seth in the air. With a 6-6. Six, six. Yep. And it is still your commander. <laughs> yep. And, and if Seth controls an artifact or enchantment, we destroy it. I think I do. he does. Uh, artifact enchantment? Actually, I don't think I do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see an artifact right Yeah, yeah, there. I forgot. <laughs> I was looking at my non-creature artifacts. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> okay, and that's my turn. Untap. Draw. Perfect. Um, we will do the Arid Mesa's land for turn. Do I can do that? Oh wait! Also, I told Dreamy Trigger. I get a mutated creature from my graveyard back to my hand. Mm. Oh, that's true. Uh, what creature did you choose? Are oh, you choosing? Never mind. I think the Sawdust Demolisher. Good choice. 
Uh, I will go to combat and I will draw the aggro of the assassin for you to by swinging four at Paul. Hey, Valhalla. All right, so Ooh, what is the thing months. you have that punishes for killing your creatures? Nothing. They're just oh, one they're, ones they're and three threes. All right, well, I don't want to die. I, you have a two three, you said? A three three and a one one. All right, well, I will block Squeak for your benefit and take the three. You are the monarch now. All right. As the Supreme at this table, I'm going to reach in there. Do the graveyard. Then I will one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will cast my commander into a distinctful stroke. I pass the turn. Not for me. Okay. All right. That's, uh, all right. That's, that's, there, there is that's one counter true. spell in mono black, but I do not have it in my deck or my hand. I will gladly pay the five life. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, that's it for me. All right. I'm going to play Hired Poisoner. Oh, boy. Oh, I was like, you, have, you said you have my eye. Here's the thing. I just really need to draw cards. I have one card in my hand. Can I please just hit me for three damage so I can become the monarch? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I'm actually, asking I need to draw. Just... One second. Let I'm me double asking... power. I'm asking you nicely rather than blindly attacking into a removal spell. That is fair. Is going to be your commander, though? I Yeah, you're getting the smallest this commander will ever be. Like, if the commander damage becomes relevant, it will not be relevant for you until much later because you have to double a few times before I can kill you. I will allow it. For now, oh, well, it's just like for an hour and ever. I, uh, I, yeah. will not, I, I will... promise you, I will not ask you to let me come and like sucker punch you with my commander again in this game. I'm attacking you for three. Okay, fine. Uh, All right. There are no block. All right, I become the monarch. I go to I go to my end step and draw a card, and Adeline gets three counters. Yep. All right, I'll untap up key and draw. I will play a Blighted Woodland. One of my favorite lands. Hmm. I will cast... Oh, jeez, I threw stuff. I will cast a Crucible of Fire, giving my dragons plus three, plus three. Okay. Uh-huh. Then, now for that counter spell. Cloth. I wish. Mm. Again, with, mana sure. I, with green available, there is this counter spell seed time, which is also not in my hand or deck. I didn't think I'd get this far. Uh, to... Does it need to attack or deal damage? Huh? Does it need to attack, attack. or deal damage? Attack. Then I have effects to be in combat before uh, just attackers are declared. All right, uh, so uh, end of main phase one priority pass. Do you want to do it now, or do you do it at the beginning of attack phase? I need. Oh, uh, I draw a card. I want you to do it at the beginning. Of... Yeah. I want you to do it at the beginning of attackers. Oh, it's not attacking so you. That way, he's. Oh, okay. Uh, that's priority at the beginning of attackers. Did you pass? Yeah, I'm, I'm passing through all that, passing through all that. Okay. I am going seven at the Monarch. Generating I'm seven going... mana. All right, so you have your seven mana. Uh, did you do anything with it before the declare blocker step? No. Future five, the card I drew off is hitting Zion in the face. Okay. <laughs> Blitz Trigger. Blitz Trigger. I will go into my. All right, hold on. Let me define. God damn it. I don't have my dice ready. I'm a terrible person. No, you cut it now instead of later on, where you're just casting spells willy nilly, and then we have to later on figure out what what mana you have. But I'm making oh. you all wait. Well, well Seth's doing there. He's doing his mana. Thank you, Fist of Valhalla, for subscribing. I said it earlier. I, yeah, that oh. happens while you were discussing about the monarch. 
All right. Oh, I missed it completely. 18 months though. Wow. Very generous. I know. How awesome is that? I'm going to use two because I'm going to blitz in. <gasps> this is Cynic Slam. Did you not blitz in the cloth? I did not. I hard cast it. Oh. Good that we purified it. <laughs> so this is going to enter. I'm going to blow something up. Alright. What artifacts and enchantments are on the field before Seth can pulse to a land? I have none of either. I only have It's just the soul ring. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just my soul ring. How many lands do you have? Do I even feel bad about hitting you or anything? Because you ramped too. Yeah, ramp, oh, and I, I'm also, I have one card in hand, I'll remind you. Yeah. Uh, I do have a lot of land. I wasn't going to blow up your land. I have 11 lands. Yeah, we'll get those. I have ring. four, five, six. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That, oh, I draw a card from that, because I did, in fact, cast. Uh, yep. Two mana for an arcane signet. Uh... I'm just uh, yeah. didn't mean to interrupt you here. Oh, uh, does acidic slime qualify for blitz? Yeah, I thought it was power. Oh. Not... Mana value. Yeah, mana value. That's it's what we were talking about dragon. earlier. Was that I've never read that part because I'm always casting dragons. It's because of their high mana value, oh, not because of their power. Mean... Anyway, I, th I think that between this game and our running joke we've established, we blow up mana rocks on this channel. <laughs> I'll do it again. Um, I'm going to let that black go away. And then at the end step, I will sacrifice this and draw a card thanks to Blitz. <laughs> I just drew a lot of cards, and yet I still only have four left in hand. I pass. I will not pass. Draw. Oh, hello there. Uh, do I want to do something pre-combat is my question. Might would be one more damage. Um, I'm so sorry. Never mind, never mind, forget it. I passed it, I missed it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we are gonna mutate again onto this. And a little question there. If I mutate something uh, monocolored on there, would it become multicolored enough that I can target with miss it? <laughs> uh, whatever's on top determines the color I did. Correct. Well? You have to be deep beneath it. So if I would want to... Eh, that's kind of annoying. Uh, I think also worth it. Yeah, I've been punched by death, 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 and I've in the face before. We're gonna mutate an ar archipel archipelago. archipelago or something. On there. Triggers. Or oh. abilities? I don't know. Um, I have three Sterix things and three things I can tap that won't untap during the control sensor. Uh, Next turn. I can English. Um, uh, I think at this spot it might just be all three commanders that aren't mine. <laughs> Alright. I have stunned my commander. Yep. Um, okay. Steric Stragos. Another land. Lovely. Rampant Growth. That won't do a thing. Another land. <laughs> uh... Which I think can enter tapped. And. Oh, come on! <laughs> Sea Dash Octopus. That's at least something fun. <laughs> Who is doing this, like. It is Seth. Oh, I think I know what it is. No, what? it's not. Is that? Oh. Oh, it's not. I know what it is. What is it? I'm bad. The nervous tech. Ah. Okay, I, I remember Seth verbally saying it out loud, which made me think Seth was doing it earlier. My bad. Oh, no, no. Uh, do I want to mutate again? Just for the fun of it. 
kind of do. Just spinning and just exiling all my good sorceries is fun. Um, let's wait till after combat with that, though. Um, who are we attacking? I think... Since with the Predator I can only destroy stuff of player attack, right? Yeah. I think it's gonna be safe again. Uh, how much is it? Uh, still six. Oh, that's right, this is your commander. Yep. I will destroy that cruise modifier or whatever it's called. Yeah, I've actually attacked yeah. those. And Paul, are you still hellbent? I have one card. Eh. <laughs> oh, then it would just feel bad. Um, Are you going to guess the start? Well, it's either got... I have two two options here. I mean, the Parcel Beast is the, is the uh, more popular option, I think. Yeah, but I want to mutate on this thing. <laughs> Which I'm not mm. gonna tap for the ability. Oh yeah, I mean, if you want well, to, actually, how much? Like, you're gonna make everybody discard what four or five cards. I lose one card, everyone else loses five. I'm okay with this transaction. Uh, it's when it mutates, not how often it mutates, but oh. I I oh, will okay. try to mutate on it more often. Yeah. Kevin Whisper. Targeting the Athena. Well, it's uh, just. It's returning the hand first. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, but, the damage. They were trying to figure out what to return. Yeah, but then it's like main phase that will go onto the tree. Yes. Now, do you have All a response? Right, so, um, no, mana short still. Okay. All right. I already passed this from Zion to me. For the sake of not discarding it, I'm going to play heroic intervention. <laughs> Fair enough. Discarding a land. Yep. Discarding Mark Five. Uh, I'm gonna tap. Uh, can't target the other Death Touch over there. I will target the Beast and the Beast Whisper. Oh hey, the two of intervention actually did something. Are we stunning <laughs> them? Is that what this is? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, and then I have four Sterics Triggers. Another lands for which I will gain the land. <laughs> <laughs> Another <one. laughs> Can I reveal a like a nope I can't. Okay, I just tapped. A gem racer. And an insatiable Oh that would have been a good one to have in my hand. <laughs> um Are they going straight to the battlefield? They yes. Do. What effect is that? Auspicious Sterics is in the mutate pile. Okay. And... Oh, that one is number of times this creature has mutated. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And the tapey one also is. Um... <laughs> you would so disenchant, and you would have got me a bunch of life if I could have gotten you on here. <laughs> um... Yeah, I think we're gonna, before I end my turn, play the scavenging moves. Interesting. Scavenging moves in a game with lots of recursion? Very good. How could they? Yep. And pass. On your step. Back to your knee, so. <clears throat> Finding my second mountain. Um, discarding so, a plane. Yep. So I think right now I want to know what all you have in your graveyard sign. Right here. Yeah, that, that's... Yeah, that's that's super tiny, Zion. You have to declare the cards. Wind Grace's Judgment. Wind, wind Grace's Judgment. Top from the Rampart. Like, Squeeze in a bob. 
before you get the chance to do it again, I'm gonna exile the gold thing. <laughs> okay. There might be better choices, but I don't care. <laughs> Then in response to your target, by discarding this plane, I will cast Lightning Helix targeting the cabinet Yep. You make your life. Go to the untap. Uh, um, these will return to the untap. Uh, I will drag for Lightning alone. Clothing casting. Um... Uh, Obsidian Obelisk and Exalted Flamer are attached next. Left and alone back. Play a Misty Rainforest's Land Return and pass. Future YouTube audience, please let us know how many times Zynum threatened to damage to himself with fetch lands. <laughs> Alright, uh, Abilene is going to shift from stun to regular tap for this turn. I'm going to cycle a Baron more. We'll play a Moss Viper. Still Hellbent. But I am the Monarch, so Katie not for the entire time. I'm going to hit Seth for one. We get my plus one, plus one counter. I'm going to go to end step and draw my card. Smelling cards in hand seven. Well, how many cards do you have in hand, Melon? Two. Two, okay. You just, that was the end of your turn, right? Yes, it was. Okay. I'm going to have a very lackluster turn. Uh, Lifecrafter's Bestiary. And I will hold up, yeah, drop a land, and then hold up a bunch of mana and pass. Your lackluster turn was a draw, and she mine was a one mana one. Um, uh, I mean, I clearly need more draw, although it did not help that the turn two Zynum blew up the thing that was drawing me cards. I also don't have anything yeah. drawing me cards. Yeah, <sighs> you play the card that will draw you cards, which is nice. And then follow it up with cool. having a bunch of yeah. mana open. That's true. And not, you know. I, I was saying, if there was sports centers, not, they would go back to play Resign and Blue Up My Draw card effect and go, that's why Paul was held then for the rest of the game. <laughs> uh, I could try to kill Seth, I just noticed. You could try but... to kill anybody because I could potentially help. Ah. Um. Hmm. Would she be willing to? Fair one out, game's gonna end. Yeah, fair enough. And it's um, also a matter of, like, bargaining for my life here, so. <laughs> okay. And so, uh, why would I want to attack with anything else? I think we're gonna. We're then gonna swing Commander and the Octopus at Zyno. That's a bummer. Really hoping not to do this, but... 2, 3, 4, 5. This party life is alone, I'm gonna cast Wind Grace in check. Uh, um, I will destroy the Otrini as Melon's target. Yep. And... Skip on the other two because I need the pressure to be on that one. Oh, whoop. Uh, Wind is definitely going to exile. Life and Roman is here. And then I will take one from the Dasher. It, two from it, the Dasher. It's two. <laughs> yep. Sad. I'm, you're not going to kill him even yeah. if I do pop it. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure. Okay, yeah. gonna draw a card because it's dealt damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, I would need... Uh, you can stay on tap I guess. We're gonna mutate onto the insatiable hammer... Well, the tree on top. Insatiable hammer page. So with this creature, mm -hmm. gets mutated on each one, lose X life and again X, where X is the number of times mutated right now. Uh, oh, shoot. this is your captain commander. And what is the order Ooh. these spells are going on the stack in the Well, first, what? currently it's only one spell. <laughs> okay, I, I was, oh, Trimmy was already still on the battlefield, or no? The thing was okay. on the battlefield. Okay. They're oh, mutating it exactly. onto right. the thing. Okay, there we go. Thank you. I know mutate is complicated, but this is the uh, complicated part. <laughs> so, uh, we were saying on stream two days ago, we're also not good at magic here. I say that you every time. You only think that, and I keep telling you, you're fucking liars. I say that every time. So before Okumi resolves, and we lose a life and, gain, and they gain a life, and this is a here, uh, how much mana does Mel have open? Uh... A ton. Because Mel keeps getting free lands. As the kids say, hella. Nine. Nine. How many times do you cast a tribute for the command zone? Uh, twice. Just paid twice command attacks, so three times cast. Three times cast. So you just paid ten for it. Yes. Well, then I then I cast two times if you want to do the math that way. <laughs> okay, so you've cast it twice in the command zone. Well, all um, times for the mutate. The mutate is less than the. Yeah. Okay. How much just would it cost to cast it again? It would cost ten to cast it again, right? Yes. Or to mutate it again. There you go. Yes. So I will actually cast ionize to counter the spell and deal two damage to you. Okay. <laughs> That's the opposite of how they expected that to work out. Um if Sun wants to play that game. Bring it. Oh wait, you cost Ray less to mutate. But, uh, four man, yes. Sawdust Demolisher, still onto the sure. hammer phase, I think. Sure. Yeah. yeah, I think the only artifacts are over at Seth's water, aren't they? I think uh, so. Yeah. I don't care too much about that right now. You can target the Mr. Rainforest. I can also target, like, literally any other land here. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you have anything that gives you five colors? Oh, uh, reflecting four. Well, down it goes. Okay, I'll float a blue in response and you get another beast. Of course he will. And now the hammer face. Trigger. So you all lose one again. And pass. Uh, track the rainforest on end step to grab myself a watery grave. Untap. I will dredge. Ramos Dragon Engine, Belwar Stone, Verdict Catacombs. Thank you, Doc. Um, so let's keep it in the grave because I'm going to one. And two, cast life from the loam, returning this plains, this reflecting pool, and this verdant catacomb in my hand. Plains is land return. And... Who's the monarch? Yeah. Of um, uh, I'll go to combat and swing. Okay, can I, can I take the yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you want to hit me with just one beast, that's fine. Yeah, one beast is fine. Yeah, I'll, is it? I'll send my little one one at you later. Just a little one one to get it back. I need to draw the card for that. Perfect, works for me. All All right, right, I will. I'm so tempted to wolf run. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. I'm tempted. I'm, I'm honestly tempted. I, 
Oh, by the way. You could also do the fair thing and just use your Blight of Woodland because we're not doing anything transactional with you. I know, but also, that's an extra 9 damage. Uh, no, I will go to my yeah, I would be much spite more spiteful if I get wolf run off of a commander deal. I will dredge three off life below for them before I'm on a draw. Time wipe, forest, and limb duels of all. Oh, this is on the monarchy draw? Yes. Okay. Oh, whoops. I'm not grabbing that. I'm grabbing life below. Love you. All right. All my stuff now untaps. No more stuns. All right, I'm going to play a bayou where I was born. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe get back in this game with Keeper of Fables. Whenever one or more non-human creatures I control deal damage to a player, I draw a card. This is when I make a big deal on the No, 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 it's fine, because I have to attack <laughs> I have to attack each of you once, and Zynum's already been promised the smallest thing. So uh, I promised Zynum one to Zynum. Uh, Mm -hmm. I do apply pressure to Melon, but Melon also is most likely to kill my thing, so two coming at Melon, six commander coming at Zen. Uh, declare no blocks. Oh, whoop. I, I will add two to the thing attacking Melon. Do it. <laughs> I'm also right, going... Well, yeah, no one's blocking and I have a death toucher, so either way they're just all dying. It gains trample. Oh, oh, okay, so it, it's a total of four power, so three damage gets through. Your finger's still dead. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm just resolving stuff, that's all. Yeah. Uh, all, all the other damage gets through? Yeah. I'm also going to do the woodlands. Mm-hmm. All right, so I have first. three... I do have three draw triggers. Thank you for giving me the extra card draw, Seth. Very kind of considering you took the most commander damage. I feel like Melon not getting hit at all isn't good for me either. I couldn't do anything about the damage coming That's at true. me. Love making deals with you, buddy. Uh, you didn't, uh, you know. <laughs> all right, well, I'm uh, we kind of did. Pin, <laughs> no, no, I didn't say we I didn't. And I'm also going to play Tiny Bones. Ugh. We, um. The Wild West Tiny Bones. We didn't get to the part where your commander was gonna do the punches. Yep, that is true. Anyway, I pass. Oh. I. <laughs> My four lands got put in the graveyard. Before anybody asks why I'm bringing things back. <laughs> Alright. Untap. Upkeep, I scry one. Yeah. I'll draw it. What's the worst that could happen? Instant death. I mean, you're not wrong, but I would like for it not to be. Uh, Corval's Corvath's Fury. Who's your friend? Uh, none of y'all. What? I am certainly uh, just... I'm not putting just cards in Gavin... your graveyard. Just as Gavin there he intended. Friend or foe, everybody's my foe. Uh, I am a friend. I, I am a friend to myself, so I will discard and draw four. They were lands. Seth, you, know, three, you know three of the four cards in my hand as life from the lobe, burning catacombs, a reflecting pool. I don't care. <laughs> right, take damage, the rest of us take damage even number cards in their hand, right? Yes. Yep. I take one damage. Yep. Well, actually, I didn't draw from Monarch, I take two damage. Mary landscape as uh, sink for turn. Tap one for a soul ring. I will. I don't know if I want to blitz that one in. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. 
Hard casting Kira. Mm -hmm. Draw a card. I will not be. Wait. One, two, three. Hold on. I have to tap things differently. That would give me that green. I didn't realize how limited I was on greens. Eat your vegetables. Okay. I'll tap a green to draw a card. And then draw a card off of Beast Whisperer. Ooh, those are good cards. I will blitz in this next card. The Victus Asmati, the Dire? Nice. I will tap a green, draw two. Ooh. I can't cast that. That would have been fun. Alright. I would like to go to combat. You made yourself? I will swing the Victus. None of your Death Touchers have Reach or Flying, do they? Uh, Vampire Nighthawk does in fact have Flying. God damn it. Well, I will attack point. with the Victus. Trigger. Okay. I will choose target permanence that player controls for each player. Uh, I was like, I, I to pick Vampire Nighthawk. <laughs> I know. For myself, I will wind up picking a land of some sort. Uh, I will pick the stack over there. I will pick Niv Mizzet down that way. And I will pick Vampire Nighthawk that way. All right, does I'll have, have a response, response to okay. the effect. Okay. Discarding a Verdict Catacombs on a Castle and Duel's Vault. What does that do? Uh, looking at the top five cards in my library, I can pay a life to set them aside and repeat the process. Once I have chosen my five, top five. Oh, that's, oh, that's a good response to a Chaos Warp effect. Yeah, I just want. Is that what it's doing? Chaos Warping us? Basically, it's uh, it, it's destroying the permanent. But then we sacrifice the permanent, and then we can't. I'm gonna scry from my campus. I'm just gonna play with that, especially yep. Garfield intended. I was gonna too, but Simon gave me an idea. Alright, so none of us are preventing the attack trigger, though. I can go. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna hit yeah, a land off of my own. Of okay. Uh. Overwhelming encounter. Let's say the trigger goes in. What happens to the cards that uh, don't get done? Uh, they. Uh, you you reveal the top card, put it on the battlefield if it's a permanent. So if it's not a permanent, it just stays on top. Oh. Oh, okay. Just stays on top. So I didn't get Glissa. Should I shuffle my library since I revealed two cards? I thought it was a Cascade style effect. Or should I just know that I draw Glissa in two draws? I'd say shuffle, but what do I know? Yeah, I, I would think. also say shuffle. Yeah. Uh, revealing polluted delta. Uh, revealing polluted delta. Bringing him to bring him aboard. Green okay. tail heron. Okay. I got a Garna, which is uh, really unfortunate because that ETB is usually much better later. <laughs> All right, uh, Paul, you take six. No blocks. Uh, well, I, you got rid of my flyer, so I have no block. I take crap. I yeah. go to my end step. I will sacrifice that to draw a card. And then I will draw for monarchy. Oh. That's it for me. Alright. My graveyard's huge. Yeah, mine too. Uh, draw. I just... Oh, I discarded a lot from drawing a lot. Okay. So that would be 10 mana. Why do I have so much mana? Ugh. 
Well, I know why. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, why do I have so much mana? Uh, what I do also have... Is a nightmare making. What does that do? It's exiles each creature with power oh, greater than the number of cards in my hand. Which is free, so everything four up gets exiled. Alright, Aveline is going to exile, and so is my drive. Oh no, Cura does not die, it's exiled. Yep. Shoulda blitzed it. And then we're gonna mutate my commander. Uh, seven... Eight. We can see your screen, Simon. Onto the Heron. Mm -hmm. So if this mutates, I draw. I ain't gonna stop you. I sure hope not, because I want to kill you. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Nobody want to save me, right? No. no. I mean, if I want to save you, I'm gonna go ahead and say I could. I mean, I had a pretty sweet hand lined up next turn because I did have Warstorm Surge, Terror, and two dragons. Like, I wanted to use Tiny Bones to steal something from your graveyard before you died, but it's fine. And I would have drawn two more from Cast It. Well, I would have scribed this down. I would have drawn Tempest, blah, blah, blah. And if I had mana to draw, yeah, I would have gotten, yeah, that was, I needed to die. Oh, I, I just was gonna do it out of, out of hey, you, you wanted to use that Kazakh Wolfhound to help me? Oh, yes! And then you're not doing it. You, the creature that I was gonna do it to, died. No, not, not And then you still now. did it on a creature that attacked uh, me specifically. Yeah. That, <laughs> that is, say, yeah. That, that one you got that, me that on. That was actually pretty dirty, yeah. But you are the non-Arc now, no one. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, Temple of Mystery, so I get to scry without paying for mana for it. I'm still gonna scry land to the bottom. And that's my turn. Now, if you oh, win, wait, wait. I'm gonna say I was completely justified in adding more damage to you. Did I get a, the crown there? And it was two. Uh, so I'll draw. Okay, to me then. Hey. On tap. Sorry? Just said hey. Oh, just said hey, okay. I will. Sorry, I'm greeting people. <laughs> One, two, you? three, four, five. I'm gonna cast opposite odds, a target Niv Mizzet Supreme to return to my battlefield. If we're all good, I'll bring him back. Well, I can't do anything, so. I'm dead. I'm not. I just spent 15 mana to attack with a 6-6. Six, six. I don't think think I have much. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to just pull up Nivens to free because I do not remember this. That's shit. Like Mendes. <laughs> <laughs> <Just, uh, laughs> uh, am I, did I tap wrong? I very much, I did tap wrong. That's fine. Oh, uh, make sure I didn't know it. I did not. Okay. Spell table uh, is something that's not a real card. Is it? There isn't a spell table issue where you're just calling something else something, but it's not. It's. I'm returning my. Are you talking about opposite of state or did visit supreme? Oh, did visit supreme. I heard the visit decree. I hope that explains why I'm not pulling anything. No. Oh, <laughs> not yet. Now that card oh. doesn't exist yet. There we go. We have to return to Replica three times in the next five years, so don't worry. And we'll fucking do it. That was Paul's ID 10T error right there. I will go to combat, but I'm gonna swing six at Melon. Mm -hmm. uh, do I want this octopus on the field? What exactly is Sign of Bones do? It's combat damage, you may cast targets. Oh, yep, I want, I want Octopus. Um, second six. 
Come back. I'll regain the crown. And then main phase two. One, two, three, four, five. Discarding life from the loan, I'm going to cast Time Wipe from my graveyard. I'll return up to one creature control, or have to return to creature control with my hand to destroy all other creatures. Alright, so I'll return Niv Mizzix to my hand. No, I shall oh, see what's going on. Uh, then I will... Oh, sorry. Go. I thought you were... I thought you said pass. No, I'm drawing for the Monarch of That's it. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to just pay the... She died twice, so... Eight mana, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm play eight mana, play Aveline, I have four left. <laughs> I pass. This is insane. Um, on tap. Draw. Hmm. Oh, gosh dang it. I keep, 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 for some reason I keep thinking that Swing got exiled from the, from the, from the ooze, and I'm like, ah, never can. Okay, we are gonna play a troll aesthetic. Aesthetic? Whatever. Hmm. Hexproof, and hmm. I can pay to so it regenerates. The original Hexproof? Mm -hmm. No, it's not Shroud. Um... Well, no, no, I mean, it's the first creature ever printed with the rules text for Hexproof. I know. Um... They were. Oh, I thought they didn't get my joke. <laughs> I admittedly got the joke as I was starting to say my joke and was like, well, you already said one letter. Can't stop now. <laughs> <laughs> we commit to our bits on this channel. My bits is my commander. Yet again. Okay. It'd be a real shame if somebody uh... killed it. Oh, wait. <laughs> Hexproof regenerate. Try. Pass. <laughs> I'd find a way. Uh, I know that always. Um, it's life from the low. Scalding Tarn, Storm King, Alchemist, and oh, hey, look, consume! Does that force target player to sacrifice a creature and I gain life equal to the power of the sacrificed creature? <laughs> Certainly not. Anyway, life from the low to my hand. Melon hates it here. <laughs> not in Secret Commander's life from the low. Right? <laughs> Actually. I misread Niv Mizzix the Cream originally because I thought it was Retrace. So Life from the Low was supposed to be like the super mega tech with Git Rock monsters. You just draw a bunch and repeat it. But then when I reread it, I'm like, oh shoot, I lose the cards. And I just kept it, all the shops. Uh, so one mana solar ring. One, two, three, four, five. Niv Mizzix. Uh... I'm gonna cast Life from the Loam to bring Forest, Scalding Tarn, and Misty Rainforest to my hand. I'll play a Forest as my land for turn. Oh shoot, can I bring a Squid to my hand? Uh, it was an effect available to your upkeep, I feel like it doesn't like, there, you haven't missed an opportunity to do anything with it yet. Does anyone object to me putting this in my hand? I think we just did. <laughs> well, that was I, what I was... I'm just making sure... He, Paul's just comment... Sure no one's looking to this. Yeah, Paul's comment saying, says, there... no, he doesn't object. Yeah, my, my comment oh. was drawn to the fact that well, there's not does. a game... <laughs> there you go. Yeah, if, uh, yeah there you go. If, if one player says you can't, you can't walk it back. Okay, He's I'll just for the reason that Paul gave. <laughs> Alright, and Thun says... I will... pay the four mana, discard the Scalding Turn, and I am going to cast the Consume from my graveyard to have target Melon sacrifice the creature with the greatest power among uh, creatures they control, and I'll Oh, with the greatest power even? Oh, fuck it. Yeah, okay. 
I'll yeah. give it to this. I will, do, I will do a favor, though. It does seem unfair. Your commander keeps dying, and my commander keeps dying. I'm going to fight down on Zion's commander. Uh, my, uh, so Aveline's just going to stab the dragon real good. It's going to die. Hit that touch. Is it now? I mean, you are two mana. You're welcome to do something. Uh, I'll have my commanders have hex proof from monocolored creatures, including your commander. Oh. In that case, uh, because I cast a spell that I could not legally cast, may I put it back in my hand? And I forgot yes. you have hex proof. Is mono. it monocolored? Yep. Yeah. Uh, it, it, his commander is, is monocolored. Yeah, it, yeah. It fight down is a monocolored spell that ha that requires the target, and Aveline is herself a green, a mono green creature in terms of in terms of legally colored. So. Whether she was targeting or it was, yes. I'll go to my end step so it's to be past the turn. I feel like that's wrong. Oh, anyway, the argument. other is. All right, I'm going to play Shieldred the Apocalypse. Technically, oh. that's touch. Okay. All right. I mean, technically, death touch. It has death touch. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I, that's why it's in the deck, is because it has death touch. The fact it does other cool stuff is incidental. Alright, so I'm going to try it this way. I'm going to swing Aveline and design him for the crown. I will declare no blocks. Take three. Alright, I gain a crown and a bunch of plus one plus one counters. I draw a card and gain two life. Half the turn. Now, Melon, <laughs> I just milled my second iteration of... I don't care. I don't care. I oh. believe to do this at task speed, so I was waiting your whole turn to concede. Oh, I apologize. Okay. Um... I don't Go to my upkeep, like yes. Eh, you're fine. Um, untap. Uh, upkeep, I will return Squeezing a Bob to my hand. I believe the first time this game. I will oh. draw. Oh, shoot. I don't draw. I don't draw. Yeah. Still draw my upkeep before I actually draw. I plan this on purpose. I'm going to discard Squeed. To... Oh, shoot. It's great power, isn't it? Yeah, you're just going to sacrifice Aveline. Also, you can right. just dredge. Dredge replaces the draw, so you can just dredge to avoid the damage. You, uh, you, um, oh! Then I'll do the same spell, just discarding the wrong, the, a different card. Uh, so I will just... just I'll just yes. quickly take another second there, while I'm especially pissed off enough to concede there. I had a Bayfluss chicks in my hand, which I could have played. And I, and I was like, oh, let let just keep the man up to regenerate, but uh, whatever. All right, so you are discarding life from the loan, yes? So actually, so during upkeep, I'm going to discard it to cast Olyrum Searing Light. So it's going to be consumed for each opponent. And since I have spell mastery, I'll gain life equal to the power of that sacrifice. All right, cool. So you're going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice Aveline. I will let her go to the graveyard at this point. I will gain I'm six. Gonna, I'm going to also respond by cycling polluted mire and draw and draw a card and gain two life. Works for me. Uh, then I will dredge three, which is going to be Tub of the Guild Pack, Ink Shield, and Lorehold Command. Okay. So first things first. One, two, three, four. Five. I will discard Sweden and Bob to cast Obsidoth's aid in the effort to revive Cloven casting. When I cast a multicolored instant of sorcery, I can pay one to Cloven. Alright, uh, I have nothing for that. Okay, so Cloven casting is returned. Obsidoth's aid goes into exile. Uh, I will go to combat and attack with it doesn't yeah, attack with Nismizzi for five. I'm going to try attempt to atomize Nismizzi. Yeah, attempt it. 
atomize the live. There's nothing I want to live for, uh, I'm just destroying it. I will ditch life from the loam to jumpstart the ionized to counter the spell and deal two damage to you. Alright, so I'll take seven total. Yep. Now it goes to exile. Rec reclaim the crown. And then I will go to my end step, and in lieu of the draw, I will dredge three stomping ground, urban evolution, and aww, right spread, thieving. Uh, dredge back left and I'll pass with that. All right, what is the thing next to your soul rank? Because I can't pull it up on spell table search feature. It's an enchantment. casting. It is an enchantment. Okay. Draw, okay. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to play Unnatural Restoration. Uh, I would get the proliferate, does not matter. I'm going to return a permanent card from my graveyard to my hand. Oh, also I gain two life off my draw. Hmm. What is the most helpful permanent? Probably my commander. Then I'm going to play Abilene Day Grand Prix or attempt to. Uh, no response to cast. For five mana, I'm going to play Storm the Citadel. Creatures I control get plus two, plus two on a turn, and when they deal combat damage to a player or planeswalker, destroy an artifact or enchantment that defended player controls. Okay. So I'm going to swing with my six seven into you. Turn a block, take six. And then I will destroy and... your. Thingy, yep. And I'm going to gain, I, I do not gain six, but uh, I do get to put six plus one plus one counters on my death toucher. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all I got. Okay, drop a monitor. Oh, yes, I drop a monitor. Cool. And I gave Did you gain your four life? Yeah, I, gave, I just gained my additional life and I've set myself to the monitor. I will take two damage when I draw this card. Joy. Um, I'll pay two mana and discard life from our. Sorry. Um, damn it, I forgot again. Screw it. Um, Good night, Smith. Uh, Dish life from the loam. I'm gonna cast Diabolic Vision. I'll look at the top five cards in my library for one to my hand and the rest of the graveyard. Rest of the bomb deck. Well then. Well, 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 well. Diabolic Vision, if I'm reading it correctly, says put them put the rest on top of your library. The rest, oh, rest on top. That's um interesting. That is another way of doing it. Um. Okay, I guess I'll put. This to my hand, and then I will be doing one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Probably cast first real cost of five. I'm gonna cast Invasion of Ravnica. Uh, when Invasion of Ravnica enters the battlefield, I exile target non-land permanent that's not exactly two colors. I'll put Children of the Apocalypse. Alright. And I'll have Paul defending, go to combat, swing at Invasion of Ravnica for five. Alright, well, I don't have a flyer, so you do five to it. So I'll defeat it and, and have you cast Guild Pack Paragon. Alright. And I will. Cards in hand? Three. I will I want to pass the turn. All right. First things first, I'm going to send Foulmire Knight on an adventure. So I'm yep. going to uh, Lose one life and draw a card. Mm -hmm. 
One, two, three, four. I'm going to play Poison Tip Archer, or at least attempt to. Uh, yes, attempt is fine. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to have uh, Poison Tip Archer bite down on your artifact creature thing that you just got from your battle. I have a response. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Discarding Misty Rainforest, I'm going to cast Warhold's Command from my graveyard. I will have it deal three damage to your commander. I will gain three life. In addition, I'll give my creatures plus one plus zero oh, and indestructible until end. You'll have carry on check. So I'm going to the top the top six because I cast a two color spell. Reveal a two color spell from among them to my hand. Rest at the bottom of my library. So I will gain three life. Is that a fight or a bite? It is a bite. Okay. Wait, does it exile or kill the crew, the creature, the commander? It deals damage. Uh, it's right? just three damage. Everyone's gonna yeah, go to the graveyard. Damage. So you take. Everyone's gonna go to the graveyard. So you lose the one life for a creature dying. That's fine. I will add. So I have to reveal the card in question. I'm gonna add. Of course, I don't have the mana. I don't have the correct mana for that. So I will reveal. Uh, counter squall from the six, and the rest go to the bottom. All right. All right, I'm going back to priority slash cast and sorcerer speed things. Correct. I'm going to play Aaron's Gloomstalker, 3-3 three, three death touch. Uh, when he attacks, you know he's one of your commanders. Uh, but for the audience, if he attacks, I return a land from my graveyard to the battle. I have one card <laughs> in hand one car and one adventure in exile. I pass. Uh, draw for honor? Oh, I am the monarch. Yep. All right. I will untap. I will dredge the life from the loam. Uh, repudiate, replicate, painted indulgence, and cleaner genesis. Love to see it. Uh, speaking of Bob's hand from the upkeep hey, trigger. I'm so proud of you. That is a freaking death toucher. Um, what do I have? So I guess first things first, two mana. Discarding Bloodstained Mire. I'm gonna jumpstart Planar Genesis. So Paragon Trigger first, look at the top six. Yes. Uh, I will reveal D Spark from among them. Then I will look again? at the top four. So Paragon adds right. D, uh, D Spark to my hand. D Spark, okay, thank you. Then I will put a part of this variety of my hand and the rest to the bottom. Exile. Three mana. Mana cannons. When I cast a multicolor spell, I deal X damage to the target where X is the number of colors in this spell. Okay. So, first things first. Black and white. I will despark the poison tip archer. What's the PT on the Gloomstalker? Three, three. Um, I'll put the two damage to your face. All right, and the D spark is exile or destroy? I can't remember. Exile. All right, so you do not lose the life. All right, and I take two damage. Uh, Paragon trigger. No cards are added. Here goes the graveyard. And then I will go to combat, swinging five in the air with the visit. I take five and lose the monarch. Yep. Um, and then I will pass the turn, drawing for the crown. 
All right. So you're going to do uh, Foulmire Knight going to hit the battlefield from Exile. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to play Gifted Etherborn. Sure. Uh, I'm going to... I think I smell fear. Foulmire Knight is going to fight your construct. Uh, what is the PT on the Falmar Knight? 1-1. Uh, one, one. It is a fight effect, so it just needs to deal one damage for Death Touch. That's fine, because that's not what I'm looking yeah. for. Um, black and blue. I'm going to discard Sweet into Bob to cast Tainted Indulgence to draw two okay. cards. Uh, yeah. Mana Cannons will deal two damage to the Falmar Knight, and then my guild, my guild Paragon will look at the top six. Alright, in response, I'm going to play Infectious okay. Plate. This is speed. Uh, and the gifted Etherborn is going to deal damage to your thing while your effect is on the thing. Counter the new fight spell, deal the two damage to your face, put two guilt to, to put two paragon triggers on the spec. Okay. So you take two from Counter Squall, four from okay. Mana Echoes, and I'm looking at the top six twice. Alright. Uh yeah, we're revealed death to the deathless. As the first step. That has to be two. Uh, we will show that. We will show English Unmaking for the second. Okay. So these are in hand. Then Tain Indulgence, I draw two cards. Then I discard a card unless I have Five or more mana value of cards in my graveyard, which I do. All right. Balmar is dead. Oh, shoot. No, I didn't. I declared that wrong. So you take two less damage, and the Thalmar Knight takes two from mana cannons. There we go. That, right. that was the whole point of that. All right. So now I'm going to go to combat, even though I know you have a removal spell available to you. Available. I'm going to swing with Aranus, attack trigger. It goes on whether or not you do anything else. So I'm going to go yep. ahead and just go fetch. Uh, does not matter at this point, but I guess we'll fetch Baron with it. Okay. I'll declare no blocks and go to 14. I will become the Monarch, which will let me at least draw a card. Yep. The cards of Forest, you win. Okay. Huh? Finally? Hey! It's not about starting up anyway. Hey! I'm going to have to do a disclaimer at the front of this. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> or am I? Where am I? All right. Well, for our YouTube people, remember like, comment, and subscribe if you want to watch Zynem take six-hour turns, even on other people's turns. <laughs> uh, you can join the Discord where you can sign up to be part of these games so that we can kick Zynem's control out. And uh, if you want to watch Zynem take six-hour turns, Friday nights. 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, twitch.tv slash Lee Seth Cross. We are, of course, kidding about picking on Zyman. Bye. I mean, I did stab Zyman several times. It's an consolation to anybody.